This is a map of the Buddhist world. Let's try to explain the true teachings of Buddhism by this map. Buddhism exists today because Brahma asked Gautama Buddha to spread the content of his enlightenment to people. Gautama Buddha first preached about human suffering and how to solve it. He said that human suffering arises from the mind of worldly desires, and that suffering disappears when people's worldly desires are extinguished. The way to eliminate this worldly desire is the practice of the Noble Eightfold Path. Zen is one of it. Through the Noble Eightfold Path, a man can open Buddha nature, attain enlightenment, and realize a world of bliss. This awakened one is called Buddha. Next, Buddhism preaches also about the universe. That universe is called the Three Thousand Worlds. The small thousand worlds gather to form the middle thousand worlds, and the middle thousand worlds gather to form the great thousand worlds. This image is the same as the real universe, isn't it? The three thousand worlds continue infinitely in both the colossal and microscopic directions. And it has no beginning, and it continues to exist from the infinite past to the infinite future. What that governs the three thousand worlds is the principle of cause and effect. In an era when people believed the ground is supported by elephants on a turtle, Brahma taught Gautama the real universe. Brahma also taught that there are countless Buddha lands in the three thousand worlds, like the sands of the Ganges River, and more. Gautama Buddha also speaks of the existence of a world called Pure Land. It exists toward the west, where the world of stars appears at the sun sets, and it exists beyond a lot of Buddha's lands. It is a world that has reached the peak of awakening. Gautama Buddha did not come back from the world of afterlife and preach the world of the Pure Land. He visited a planet of Pure Land that exists in this universe and witnessed its majestic world. Therefore, not as the teaching to the question of disciples, but he suddenly began to speak about the pure land from him. A Mitabha Buddha, who rules the pure land, is a real awakened person. He got eternal life, and even now he is preaching in reality. Now, both we humans and Buddhas live in the three thousand worlds, that is, in the universe. Esoteric Buddhism preaches the relationship between us and Buddhas in the universe. Esoteric Buddhism is the teaching of Vairocana personified the universe, not Gautama Buddha. So both Buddhas in the universe and us are, so to speak, a part of Vairocana, born in the body of Vairocana, and so we are also Buddhas originally. The mandala shows the relationship between us and the Buddhas of the universe. The womb realm mandala preaches the mercy of the Buddhas. The diamond mandala preaches the wisdom of Buddhas. Wisdom means science and its usage. We humans, who are originally Buddhas, are awakened by compassion and science. By the way, in the first place, what is the universe? Astronomical observations show us the endless universe. On the other hand, the small world continues with atom, atomic nucleus, proton, and quark. How far do the big world and the small world continue after this? The Avatamsaka Sutra preaches that there is the universe in a dust without narrow and with fit. In other words, it means that the galactic universe exists in the atom. This means that our universe also exists in a giant atom. Here is the truth of the universe. The true figure of this universe is revealed by the Sagara Mudra Samadhi. Someday, we too will be able to see the universe reflected on the surface of clear water in the laboratory. Then, how is the truth of life in the fractal universe? In the Lotus Sutra. Gautama Buddha preaches that he is an eternal Buddha who has existed from the distant past. It was only Buddhas each other to be able to talk about it. But in the age of science now, we understand that DNA is the essence of life. The ultimate final point of life science is the creation of life. In fact, the Christian Bible says that God created man in His own image. 
God create man, man awaken and become Buddha, and Buddha become creator, that is, God. Eternal Buddha teaches the infinite cycle of life in the infinite universe. We are in infinity and a part of infinity. This is the only sublime teaching in Buddhism. The story until now has no mention the afterlife or spirits. It is an understanding of the teachings of Buddhism based on the knowledge of life in the universe that science has elucidated. It also establishes the syncretism of Buddhism and monotheism. In the age of science in the 21st century, abandoning mysticism, along with the progress of science, through the teachings of Buddha nature flowering, noble eightfold path, compassion and wisdom. We humanity must respect each other and follow the path of awaking instead of fighting for justice. At that time, the earth will become the planet of the golden civilization of